Uh, so today I'll be talking about cervical disc replacements, mainly focusing on the indications, contraindications and the technique of it. So this is a 36 year old lady who came with neck pain and left arm radiation with weakness and a failed conservative treatment. A lot has been discussed in the previous sessions, whether to do a replacement or a fusion. And uh, what we did in this case is a cervical disc replacement. And the question that I am going to answer today is why not an ACDF and why a cervical disc replacement? As we all know to counter this, we are not using the conventional phones anymore. Similarly, it is very much necessary to adapt to the new ways for improved patient outcomes. We being orthopedic surgeons, we are a very uh, different breed of uh, surgeons who are very hungry, we are very foolish and we believe in constant evolution. As we all know, rest is rust and the goal is nothing and motion is everything. Based on this, why not ACDF? So we know that ACDF causes loss of cervical range of motion, it causes adjacent segment disease, it causes pseudoarthrosis and harvest related complications with case subsidence. A lot of literature is now available on this. Uh, this is a biomechanical study which shows a significant increase in intradiscal pressure and segmental motion at levels adjacent to the fusion. Similarly, this study which was done by Hillebrand et al, it shows that there is an incidence of 2.9% per year for an adjacent segment disease which rose to 25.6% over the period of 10 years. Now coming to the incidence of pseudoarthrosis. As it has been mentioned by the previous speakers as well, it may go up till 20 to 40 percent in two or three level fusions. And we are all aware about the autographs, harvest related problems like pain, numbness, wound complications or hematomas, as well as the allograft which has its added cost with bioincompatibility. Now coming to case subsidence, this was a study uh, which was done in 2014, out of it they showed that out of 82 patients, case subsidence occurred in 31, which is almost one third of them. So, is there any better option available? And we need to think out of the box. And yes, there is. Uh, there is a total disc replacement which is now there. Because it maintains the cervical range of motion, it restores the cervical disc height as less subsidence, maintains the spinal alignment, there is no pseudoarthrosis, there is significant reduction in adjacent segment degeneration and no requirement of a graft harvest as well. What are the indications? It is a single or a double level pathology as of now. Radiculopathy, even myelopathy is now addressed with these. A soft or a hard disc herniation with the loss of disc height and a failure of adequate conservative management. Mind you, there are a lot of contraindications, particularly in the places where there is instability or the bone is not suitable for a cervical disc replacement, like an active or a prior infection, osteoporosis with a poor host bone, there is a segmental instability or kyphosis, traumas, tumors, or significant facet arthropathy, as well as pediatric patients. Now, there are numerous uh, cervical disc replacements which are now available in the market. They are made of different materials and they have different uh, uh, mechanism of action. They, they, may, they, are, they are usually of a ball and socket variety and have an end plate on growth. They may be made of cobalt chromium, titanium alloy or titanium on poly. Now let's come to the technique. It is almost similar to the ACDF but I would like to highlight a few different points uh, throughout the procedure. Uh, so the positioning needs to be basically physiologic, it should be slightly lordotic with towel roll and the head, neck, shoulder should be in a very stable and neutral position. A donut pillow is what I use with taping of the arms while avoiding excessive traction and a basic smith robinson approach is used just like ACDF. Now the important points to focus over here is we need a good AP and lateral views with an end plate, the, uh, the AP view uh, should be uh, necessary to identify the midline. The spinous process should be centered on the pedicle and uh, uh, the retainer screws which you put, they should be parallel to the end plates for a symmetric distraction. Decompression is similar to what we do as an ACDF and it is always necessary to keep ACDF implants as a backup. In case intraoperatively we feel that this patient might not be suitable for a, a, um, for a cervical disc replacement depending on the bone quality or probably some intraoperative issues, then ACDF implants need to be kept. 
Um, the technique varies based on the type of the replacement system that you use. But a few pointers that is a trial implant, the largest footprint need to, needed to cover the vertebral body is used and the smallest height to, ma uh, to match the adjacent disc height. This is because a too large of an implant limits the post-operative motion. The end plates are prepared, they are either drilled or there are keel cuts depending on the system and the implant is inserted. So, the few pointers for the highlights, these are, there is symmetric resection, uh, resection is necessary, a typical box is necessary for uh, uh, the cervical disc replacement, meticulous hemostasis with minimal use of cautery to avoid heterotropic ossification, proper implant centering and end plate coverage and anti-inflammatory post-ops are usually given for about three to six weeks. Uh, there is a lot of literature coming up uh, based on arthroplasty versus ACDF. Now this is the Brian cervical disc which showed that there is statistically significant lower um, uh, NDI scores with a better range of motion and lesser requirement of a secondary surgical procedure. Similarly, this is a fire follow-up of a single level uh, degenerative disc disease in which 209 patients were done and there were no reports of device failures. This was again a randomized control trial incorporating 541 patients with lower rates of secondary revision surgeries and maintaining angular motion for more than 7 degrees. And this is again a randomized trial with a 2 year follow up showing significant results. So this is a 40 year old male with neck pain and left arm radiation, no significant instability with a huge disc prolapse at C67 and a cervical disc replacement was done. The important point to highlight in this case is though the disc was very huge, the, the, the primary aim of the surgery that is a decompression does not change whether you do an ACDF or a cervical disc replacement. Just to end my talk, uh, it is necessary the, the, the cervical disc replacement preserves the motion, there is lower incidence of ASD, statistically better and comparable scores, low revision rates, no loosening. Yes, ACDF is a gold standard, but in selected patients, a cervical disc replacement can work as a diamond. Thank you so much.